summer will shape who represents you and your voice in local politics. Joining us to talk about her run for county commission, Courtney Durrett, District 2, and we appreciate having you back. You are running for a second term. Let's just yes. quickly point out District 2 on the map here. These are the people that you represent, but you vote on issues uh, that affect our entire county. Uh, explain why you want to run again. I want to continue the work that I've started. Um, I think it's important for, even though our district is completely within city limits, that we have representation on county commission because we do pay those county tax dollars. So I want to make sure those that money is being spent properly and uh, beneficial to, to our district and our constituents. You just had to vote on the mayor's budget, no yes. tax increase. Uh, is that something as a commissioner you would consider in the future? It sounds like money is tight right now, but the ability to handle roads and salaries for teachers and sheriff's deputies is going to get even tougher. That's correct. Um, you know, we can't, I, I'm a firm believer in never say never because we can't just pigeonhole ourselves to not be able to do something if we have to do it, if there's no other way to do something to accomplish it. And so, um, as you mentioned, teacher pay. It is now state law that our, our uh, minimum teacher pay has to be $50,000 by 2026. We have to be able to fund that somehow, and our um, school's budget is 62% of our of the county's budget as a whole. And so we have to find that money somehow. And if we're not going to do a tax rate increase at some point down the road, where where it's going to be hard to continue to meet those salary demands, also the sheriffs, but also let's not forget our county employees. Mm -hmm. They're only getting a two percent raise this year, and that's not going to start until January. And so we have to keep all of that in mind when we're talking about tax increases and if we're going to increase the sales tax and any of that, because um, we have to keep up. We have to keep pace if we want to keep our government functioning. Well, you just had a big land use vote on commission. What was the most important vote that you took in your last four years in ter in this term? That was a big one. Mm -hmm. I, I, it's very top of mind right now, and you know we're not finished. That was just to set the plan. We over the next two years we're going to be working on our UDO, our United uh, Development Ordinance, and so that's really where we're going to get into those More zoning specifics. codes. Yeah that will change ordinances. Only about 30 seconds left. What would you say to voters about why they should elect you instead of someone else for this position again? Uh, because I can say that the past four years have proven that I'm willing to work with everyone. Uh, I was elected the first female chair of county commission and that was a bipartisan vote. Um, I had the support of my colleagues through that entire year um, and I have been able to accomplish quite a few things for our district specifically but also for our county so I just want to keep that work going. Um, I've got my feet wet. I want to keep them wet. All right, Courtney Durrett, we appreciate your time very much and good luck in this election. Again, it is August 1st and we'll uh, certainly be in touch down the campaign trail. Right now, we've got to